All right, everybody, welcome. Uh, just a quick video. Uh, this is the announcement for the new Fragment Fusion, and it is going to be a legendary force support champion from the Skinwalker faction named Mighty Uko. Um, this guy is great. He's definitely he's going to be top shelf. Uh, he's definitely going to be in everybody's Hydra teams. He brings a ton to the table. I'm not just telling you that as a person that makes content for this this fun game. But uh, just to head, we'll just read through his abilities and that'll be the video, okay? Uh, I'm just going to preface this. Save your resources. This guy is worth it. Um, I didn't, I was going to do a video about Godfrey Brassclad or whatever and tell you don't open for him because he's not worth it unless you're mid game and you spend or have the money or anything. But I just wouldn't, he doesn't bring anything really to the table that your other selections are not already bringing. So Godfrey's meh. So. Whatever, 140 ancients. I would, I would guess he'd be more like around 110, like Vizier was. But that's all I'm saying. Um, save your resources for this guy. He's gonna be great. Uh, he's gonna go into arena as a troll tank. He's gonna really piss people off uh, because of his passive. And but he's really gonna do a lot of work and put the team on his shoulders when he's in Hydra. And this is very, very good to see. Very, uh, I love it. I love it. Um, and then I'll show you, you'll see from the thumbnail to the video, my reference for him. And I just feel like he's straight from Princess Mononoke is Lord of Toko, uh, Okoto. Um, but okay, I mean, even his name is kind of the same. So, uh, Uko Smash. He attacks everybody. He has a 50% chance placing decreased attack for two turns. I assume that book's up to 75. Uh, on a four-turn cooldown for his A2, Uko's Fury. He'll attack everybody two times each hit. I assume books up to 100%. We'll remove two random buffs from the target. And then that will place a block buffs, debuff, and 50% decrease accuracy debuff for two turns on targets that have no buffs after the attack. So even if they didn't have buffs on before, he's still going to place these debuffs, and that's amazing. This screams uh, head of mischief, right? Uh, even though this is an on-hit thing. So that's just something to consider if the head of mischief is like, so he's force affinity, so if the head's spirit affinity, it's going to kind of mess you up. Uh, but yeah, decrease accuracy on that cocksucker and block buffs. <sighs> Hydra's getting easier, and it's a good thing, because we got new content coming out. Uh, his A3, Uko's Mercy, it is on a six-turn cooldown. I bet you that book's down to like a four-turn. He revives all dead allies with 40% HP, places block damage on them for a turn, and then he'll also place a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns, and he places the speed buff even if they're, nobody's dead, which is great. That's great. Um, and then his passive, Totem Warden. 50% uh, chance of stealing one random buff from an enemy each time they receive a buff. Any stolen buff becomes protected. That's great. So... um. You just make him fast, high accuracy, and make him tanky, and you're having a great time. And he also has a great aura. Increases the speed in all battles by 20%. This guy is very good, top shelf. Um, yeah. Save your resources, folks. And uh, this starts on the 9th. Let me take a look. should be next week. Yeah, next Friday is when this starts, officially. So uh, have a wonderful time. Everybody take care of yourselves. I'm going to put a couple more videos out today. Goodbye.